Hey guys and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. This week's game recommendation is the game you're seeing on screen, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Fall of the Foot Clan for the Game Boy DMG. Looks brilliant and wonderful on the analog pocket screen. Strongly recommend you play on that device. Uh, it is fantastic. Now before we get into today's video, if you're not subscribed to the channel, then a subscription and a like is super appreciated. It really does help the channel grow and it doesn't cost a thing. Anyway, let's get into today's video. Guys, this week's game recommendation is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fall of the foot clan i love the game boy dmg i love the game boy dmg games and this is a game i played as a kid and i absolutely love it i think this is one of the best games on the system and a very very good turtles game let's start a game so as soon as uh, you enter the game you'll notice you can pick your stages we're going to start with stage one but if you want to get into this game you can start at the later stage without having to note down a password or anything like that now one thing i recommend is move it down here so you swap the buttons around so b is attack and a is jump this kind of has the buttons like the arcade where it's jump first and attack after so you can pick out your four turtles uh, each turtle acts as a life so you've got the four turtles there once the four turtles are gone that's it it is game over so let's start with michelangelo or Mikey as he likes to be called so straight away you hear the brilliant turtles theme sound and hearing this as a kid you're just like wow you know we didn't have YouTube we didn't have all this other stuff and this is where we got a fix of listening to some turtles music in the style of a Game Boy DMG I have to say it doesn't make too bad of a ringtone if this is something you want to use for your phone let people know you like turtles and you like turtles on the game boy dmg now as well as your normal attack down and attack fires a ninja star one thing i always wish this game had is when you jumped and then moved it down and attack you fired like a ninja star in the air you don't you just do a flying kick that's the only air attack as far as i know as far as i can remember let's see if something else surfaces out but look at the graphics for this the foot soldiers look great i love like the background the posters in there this is doing a really really good job being a game boy dmg game and it plays really really well the difficulty the game's not too tough and it's fair but like most games from this era as you progress in the game the later you get into the game the more difficult the games get one thing i love about this and let's take a little bit more damage okay yeah that should be enough and actually you know what let me show you guys one thing here i love it when these things grab you here and they'll just suck your energy off but let's pause the game remember the konami code up up down down left right left right ba and it's usually another ba after that but after the first ba you get your health back so you can do this once per game so where you've got your four lives what we would do is on the trickiest part towards the end of the game uh, if you needed it on your last life you would use that cheat and effectively it's almost like you've got another life it was always used and one thing we always tried back then the reason you hear so much about the konami code is anytime you had the konami game you always tried the konami code because it worked somewhere i remember it worked somewhere in nemesis can't remember it where where, where exactly it worked off the top of my head but the konami code wall was well in a lot of konami games uh, i'm not sure if it's in all konami games in some way or another but during that era you tried the konami code in a number of places even without knowing about it you just knew the konami code would kind of work now one thing that i always say is guys enjoy these games wherever you want to do your retro gaming it looks this looks great on the analog pocket uh, especially as a gb studio game converted over to a dot pocket file it looks really really nice that green filter just looks amazing on the analog pocket but don't be uh, restricted to that play it on your mister play it on your steam deck i'm actually filming what you're seeing right now on the steam deck i'm relaxing i'm chilling in bed I've got a day off work and i thought you know what let me attach a mic and use my steam deck to capture some footage but there's no right or wrong way of playing this it's as long as you're having fun playing it play it play it on the original game boy dmg it still looks as fantastic as it did back in the day i'm you i'm playing one with an ips mod because i do find the original game boy screen 
not so great it has its charm i like it but i do prefer playing my ips modded Game Boy. but ultimately you could be playing this on your phone on a windows pc wherever you want to do it i i would only like to play this game on a handheld i like handheld gaming and i'll try and stick uh to handheld games playing them on handheld machines whether it's an emulated version an fpga device or an actual bit of hardware but i know people that really dislike handheld gaming uh, a friend of mine recently completed all three of the game boy advance castlevania games on their mister they just sat and just went through all of them me personally that does not appeal to me i like playing it on a handheld because that's that's just that's just how i like doing it i suppose each to their own but this game's fantastic hopefully we'll make it to the first boss i'm doing this video a little bit different i'm kind of playing it and talking i find that when i play stuff like on the steam deck as opposed to another controller my mic doesn't really pick up the button presses but i guess we'll find out once i, I kind of watch this video but at least in all the testing i've done uh you couldn't really hear it and i thought okay let me just do the video a little bit different because usually i'm doing voiceovers after filming this time i thought let me do it real time hopefully you guys like it do let me know in the comments which kind of format you prefer do you prefer it chopped up with a voiceover or do you prefer like an actual play where i'm talking and playing another thing those blocks that fall down up top they you can actually hit them uh so on on the way down which is nice i'm pretty sure i found that out by accident because usually when when something is falling down from above you are just trying your hardest to dodge it and turtles is no exception here we go let's here we go i, I love that i love that you can hit that thing there uh but yeah turtles was all the rage when this came out man i remember playing in the arcade i remember skipping food and not eating food um at home uh, sorry not at home sorry eating skipping lunch at school with the money that i had to play turtles it was just something bad that we done here we go so i like i like uh the bosses i like that they, they've got an energy bar uh rock steady here is five hits i'm getting hit there it's quite easy to kind of do it without getting hit and this is felt like i said fair and reasonable up until the later stages where the game does get quite difficult now once you complete a stage you can pick another turtle it gives you a choice of just swapping your turtle over so we'll go and swap over let's try donatello now because here's a picture of donatello and i love the way it looks on game boy dmg and another thing that i like is when you guys recommend me games and rom hacks uh, i really do look forward to them and i do try them out and some of the ones that i like i make sure that i cover them up cover them in videos so the games and rom hacks you do try uh, you do tell me i do look into them uh, as much as i can and honestly you guys have recommended some great games and rom hacks to me that i'm playing and enjoying to this day but that's really it for this game guys uh, this is teenage mutant ninja turtles fall of the foot clan on the game boy dmg it's a very very good game if you didn't play it back in the day it's aged quite well it's quite fun to play it's not too difficult and i'm not the best at games i don't find it too tough most people on this channel are probably better at games than i am so guys that's really it for this uh this week's game recommendation it is this game here so yeah i'll see you around uh in the next video in next week's game recommendation this is pixel cherry ninja out